The Fav Creative Icon lets you totally customize this machine for the type of sewer and embroiderer that you are. So we're gonna walk through a variety of setting options down here in this lower left corner where the gear is. So when I touch it, you're gonna notice we come into, first off, the sewing settings. We'll be showing you the embroidery settings, machine settings, and there's even more across the top. So let's just kind of take a brief tour of what you can do with this machine and how you can get it to be exactly set up for the type of sewing you enjoy. So one thing you do see is on the left side, you see white column, and on the right side, a uh, more of an orange column. So temporary settings are orange, default settings are white. Default settings are remembered when your machine is turned off. So they are gonna stay on or stay active even though you turn your machine on and then bring it, uh, turn it off and on. All right, so down through all of these different things, uh, we have things, in, if they're on, they're on. A lot of these are on automatically when you get your machine. These first couple, I'd say leave on all the time. Active stitch technology, automatic presser foot lift. Uh, those are things that are kind of programmed into a variety of the stitches. Uh, automatic thread cutter included in there. The active stitch technology makes it so the tensions and everything are just there. Let the computer do it. They have mastered how the machine can recognize different thicknesses of thread and different thicknesses of fabric. So just leave those on. I rarely ever turn them off. Free motion options. So when you're working with different free motion feet, you'll turn on the foot that you actually have so the machine can operate correctly for that additional foot. For those of you, a ruler foot, if you add that on. Um, I touched it and I heard a click. The machine uh, feed dogs automatically lower once you go in here and turn those features on. You will also be able to adjust the pressure of the foot depending on which one of these you actually have. Uh, let's see here, which one? Yes, where you can actually adjust the pressure as well. Stitch limiting options, stitch with safety. So this is going to make sure that when you have a straight stitch throat plate on, or get this, a quarter inch foot. If you put your quarter inch foot on, it has a hole right in the center, meaning you, if you pick a zigzag, it is going to zigzag and break the needle because it's gonna hit the side of the foot. You can actually come in and tell the machine, don't let me accidentally stitch through my foot and turn this with, stitch with uh, safety on and it will do just that for you. Uh, so it's nice. Now, if you are putting the straight stitch throat plate on, that will automatically come up so it can, it, it knows those, the, that plate is censored, so it'll know when to set that for that plate. You don't have to turn that on. But there's times and places I like to set that for myself. Twin needle, so depending on the size of twin needle that you're working with, let me show you this. So let's just pick a twin needle 2.0, touch okay. And look, it is actually going to show you the stitch and what it looks like as a twin. So look at what you get. You get a whole new looking stitch depending on what you pick. And you can almost, well you can, you can virtually go through this machine, touch a stitch, and see what's gonna look like with a 2.0 twin needle. Now if that twin needle was larger, it will have a different look. So if you went, I shouldn't say larger, but wider, if you went ahead and picked a 4.0, then you will notice a different look. I'm gonna turn it off so we don't uh, need that up uh, right now. Needle stop position up or down. So that is an option for you. Presser foot pressure 6.5, that's kind of normal. So let's just go ahead and go over to embroidery settings. So some of these things you don't have to change a lot, but when you need to, you can then change it. So embroidery, we're talking about which embroidery foot are you actually using? Are you using a twin needle? Did you know you can use a twin needle with embroidery? You sure could. Thread cut options. There will be times I'm gonna tell you to turn this off and that is exactly what where you can do it. So it doesn't make such a, a thick cutting um, I'm gonna say mess because it kind of looks messy on the back when there's lots of little letters. Um, it cuts after every letter. It doesn't always look good if you're gonna be seeing the back of an item like a tea towel and such. So there's times and places we don't want the thread cut option to be on. So that's good that that's right there. If you're working on something really thick, you can actually adjust how high that is so it hovers above a thick item. Awesome 
with that. Um, select default hoop size so you can change that as needed. Machine settings, let's talk here. Language, I think there's 10 languages in the machine. Uh, so if you change it, you're gonna have to know how to get out of that by that new language. Audio vol volume, Some, you've been hearing me sometimes, um, it will like click when I'm touching. So if you don't want that little click, you can turn off the volume and just turn it down a little bit. Uh, audio repeats, so when there is a message, you can get it to pop up again and again until you actually take care of it. Um, machine nickname, you can name your machine. There it is right there, just touch it, I bet. Comes up with a keyboard, sure does. You can name your FAF machine. Lock screen, so uh, people don't get in unexpectedly, that's good for little fingers. Units, let's talk about this, millimeter or inches. Um, so uh, in America, we tend to what I always think in inches, but it is really hard to know what the stitch length is in inches. You're used to two and a half stitch length or a 4.0 stitch length, those are millimeters. But I do know that in embroidery, sometimes when we talk about hoop sizes, it's a little easier for people to think in inches as those designs get a little bigger. So choose for yourself. Just don't be alarmed if your stitch length looks really weird, number, if you have inches selected. The brightness of your lights, you can actually dim those up or brighten those up. Background image, uh, depending on this is the color of your background. So if you prefer more of a lighter color, this is what you're actually changing. I'm gonna leave it a little darker for what we're doing with the camera. It makes it a little easier for you to, I'm gonna do the dark one, uh, see what we're looking at there. Okay, two more to go. Oh, wait, two more? Almost, <laughs> three more. Wi-Fi settings, this would be what your machine can see as Wi-Fi options in your home. So right now it uh, is connected to my personal one there. Uh, my Sonet settings, this would be where you would sign in to this machine. So you do wanna go ahead and get an account set up. You can, set, I believe you can set it up here. You could also do that on a computer as well. Might be a little easier at that point. Okay, machine information. This is just gonna be some basics. Serial number and also your current um, d updated um, date and release number. So if you want to just make sure you have the most current one. I know I have an update that needs to be run on this and I haven't done the latest, latest one, but that will come in as soon as I give it the okay to do that update. And then if I just wanna clear out all the information, that is the clear all. So sometimes we use that when we sell a machine, had a previous owner, we'll do a clear all settings and that kind of resets everything. Okay, once you touch okay, whatever you've turned on will stay on. If it was in the temporary area, it will then be turned off when the machine is turned off. But I hope you realize how much is in there and peek inside and see if there's things that you might like to adjust as you get more familiar with this machine.